pre-season now, you're wearing the Mawson shirts. What are your thoughts on having Mawson on board and just quick thoughts on the shirts as well? Well, um, I I've seen, uh, I'm a big sports fan, I've seen how much Mawson get involved with other local sports, whether it be the Sail Sharks, horse racing, really involved with boxing. So I think, you know, being a local company and being involved with, you know, great Manchester Rugby League team in Salford, uh, it's great for us, I think it's probably great for, for their brand as well. So, um, you know, hopefully we can have a bit more success than we did last season. Obviously getting to the grand final was a great achievement, but I think going one step further would be great for us as a club. How's pre-season been? You know, you've, you've had a few weeks to get going again with the ball and the expectations now, managing those, because last season was a surprise. You were the surprise packages in the league last year. So how do you balance the mentality going into the season and get those expectations? Yeah, well, well first of all, pre-season has been pretty tough. Um, it, it always is a tough time of year. Um, like many people said, they, they wrote us off last year to, to come down the bottom of the ladder. So we've just been ripping in as much as we can during this time. Um, you know, we think we, we know we're capable of where we can finish uh, during the year, but the main thing is just getting off to a good start this year and then trying to keep that consistent throughout the year. We've had some exits and some new players signed as well. Most notable exit was Jackson Hastings. So what's the dynamic of the team like at the moment with new players coming through and obviously a big name leaving as well? Well, it's been... It, it's been a very transitional pre-season. We've lost, lost seven or eight players and brought in the same amount. Um, but the mood in camp is probably the best it's, it's been for a couple of years. We've got some great personalities, some great blokes who've joined the club and lads with a lot of experience that have won trophies. So uh, on the surface, it probably seems like you know we've, we've lost some great players, but we've gained some as well. So we've spent these last five or six weeks training hard, like Joey said, and um, bonded a bit off the field as well, which is really important. 